Think about the smallest sensor you know. Maybe it's a millimeter. What about a micrometer? And what about nanometers? Well, right there is digit sensor. So small that you need a microscope to see it. We're at CES 2026 in Las Vegas at the Digit booth to check out their ultra small sensor and what it can do. Malta, good to meet you. Hi, Adam. How are you doing? Just how small is your sensor? It's very, very incredibly small. We can go to the nanometer level with it. Um, regularly, we print on the micrometer scale, but that's due to uh, how we do it and how we fabricate it right now. And you go down to, to nanometers. We that's really it. shrink. You're going to need a microscope to see that, basically. Yeah. We have microscope videos of that uh, to showcase how just how small it is. And so, I mean, sensors are normally pretty small nowadays anyway. Yeah. Why do you need a sensor that small? Exactly, to put them uh, where size is key, especially when uh, you can't fit a regular sensor nowadays, you need one of our sensors uh, to fit them in. And uh, we can print them on your device directly or we can hook you up with a component. Uh, and so what, what, what can you measure, like temperature, heat or...? Exactly, yeah. that would be uh, temperature measurement, uh, force measurement or pressure measurements. Yeah. Uh, so we have a little pressure sensor, pressure maps, which can transduce the signal. Then. Should we go see some demos? Certainly. Malta, you have what appears to be a sort of regular surgeon's scalpel blade. What is this about? Yeah. Well, Adam, this is actually a regular scalpel blade, which we hooked up with some strain sensors. So now it's a smart scalpel. And as you can see here, we can measure the cutting forces as we press on the scalpel. It looks like a regular scalpel blade. And this, for the surgeon, it feels the same. But we get the full information about all the processes uh, during the and surgery. That's printed printed directly onto the blade. And in this case, we printed it directly on the blade. We did some metalization of the, of the scalpel and printed the sensor, hooked it up to the electronics. And as you see, there's not much to it. And um, yeah, this is how you can print one sensor. We could also do uh, multiple sensor for multiple actual uh, strain sensing. We can put a sensor actually on the spine of the scalpel or on the side. And um, yeah, we could do full wheatstone bridges for compensation for temperature or single wheatstone bridges uh, directly on the material or on a component, for example, like foils, metals, or any subcomponents, silicon, for example. That we Awesome. Should we go look at another demo? Sure. Motor, we have what appears to be an exposed CPU die here. What is that about? Yeah, Adam, we have a scaled model here. And um, this is a CPU die with a heat spreader. If you uh, lift the heat spreader, there's usually a thermal interface material in between the heat spreader and the die. And we have a special heat spreader uh, thermal interface material, which we can put on there. And, and that's then, with the sensors embedded within exactly, the material. Exactly, this is yeah. where our sen temperature sensors are embedded in. And you can directly measure within the uh, th thermal interface material, the temperature flow through or uh, the temperature of the dice at certain locations. And this prevents uh, from, you can measure the thermal degradation, the thermal throttling of the chips, and you don't lose scar space in the chip itself. And so this uh, temperature reader, where is this connected to? This is connected to something like this? Exactly, we have a model of this uh, thermal interface material in the back. And um, when we hook it up and when we run the CPU, you immediately see uh, response so we now run the CPU. Oh wow. It jumps certainly up to um, 90 degrees and when we switch it off again it should go down real quickly and uh, this shows the responsive also, exactly. yeah. let's go check some more stuff out. Yeah. So we've just seen an example of a force sensor printed on a scalpel and also a temperature sensor embedded in the CPU. But that's not all you do. So, I mean, you, you do, you have a force sensor embedded on a washer. You also have strain gauge on a piece of metal. You even have a suite of pressure sensors. I mean, look at the last one. It looks like a piece of dust, basically. Exactly. So, Marta, I'm sold. I want to print one of these sensors on my designs. Where can I find you? Basically go to our website and yeah. give us a call or write us an email and we'll get you uh, up and running in the next couple of weeks. Awesome. That's it. Really good to meet you. This is Digit at CES 2026. If you want to find a little bit more about them, there'll be links to check them out in our description. Thank you for watching.